In the 20-page decision handed down by the Supreme Court today, the five-man bench ruled that proceedings by NAMA were incompetent and ruled in Marpe's favor. The first, second and fifth interveners in this matter, who are Prime Minister Marpe, Deputy Prime Minister David Stephen in his capacity as the Attorney General and Pangu Party respectively, filed an application for objection to competency. Helen Nama is still under suspension from office uh, by virtue of uh, the organic law and that happens when a leader subject of uh, investigation by the Ombudsman Commission under the leadership code referred to the leadership tribunal by the public prosecutor. It is on that day when the charges, so to speak, are presented. Uh, the organic law and duties and responsibilities says that 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 uh, leader is suspended from performing duties. Uh, that is, uh, he still remains a, uh, a leader under a member of parliament in this case for Beldenama, representing uh, Vanimo Green District, uh, but he cannot be performing public duties. Uh, but for Beldenama, he um, was elected by the opposition caucus to be the leader of the opposition on the 11th of September 2019. So when he filed the proceedings, it is clear that um, he uh, said in his application, as well as the affidavit in support, that he's coming to the court in his capacity as leader of the opposition. So clearly, uh, that means that he is performing a public function. He has not come to the court as a private citizen. That's a different matter. This proceeding, filed on 30th March this year, challenges the process used in the appointment of James Marope as the aid. Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea on the 30th of May 2019. The principal ground of objection was that the date of filing this application, true to the date of objection to competency, NAMA was suspended from duty under the organic law on the duties and responsibilities of the leadership code because of allegations of misconduct in office against him. But this ruling uh, clearly say, uh, rules otherwise that once when a leader is uh, suspended undergoing leadership tribunal, the suspension ends when he is either dismissed from office or when his judicial review like the challenge by NAMA uh, comes to an end or there is a specific order staying the suspension. So I think that's a very important uh, pronouncement that, uh, that the court has made in terms of leaders that come under the leadership code as to when they're fa facing a leadership tribunal. Uh, something that I think he pointed out but he forgot to mention uh, was that uh, today marks the first uh, anniversary when uh, O'Neill resigned on the 29th. So it's exactly one year uh, we are at when the decision by the court now in relation to PM's challenge, so uh, all we can say is that uh, unfortunate for Mr. Nama, who wanted to challenge uh, PM's elections, he, the opposition now is to get together. We will be writing to the Speaker, advising the Speaker and Speaker's lawyers here. Uh, speaker's lawyer took a different view, so we'll be writing to the Speaker, advising him of uh, the position that the court has taken. After the court's decision was announced, lawyer representing the Attorney General indicated that he will be writing to the Speaker of Parliament to notify him of the court's position. Thakla Gunga, National MTV News.